hi welcome to all in this video we are going to see how to insert into a table in different ways last video we have seen how to create a table how to drop a table so here we are going to uh, create uh, that table again because we dropped that table uh, in the previous video uh, so once we create we can insert data into that table here we can see that query uh, for the table uh, employees we will run this query and here we can see table created here we will give a describe table table name is employees and we will run this query and here we can see uh, the structure of the table employees now we are going to insert data into this table named employees first of all we will see the default method uh, here we can see the number of columns in this table employees so we have to give uh, the values for these columns we can see emp id emp name uh, emp date of birth emp salary and emp place here we have to give a insert into table name command uh, that is a data manipulation language so here we are going to give that query insert into table name is employees then we have to give the values so we have to give uh, in this order uh, how we created uh, this uh, table uh, columns here we can see first one is emp id so we will give one emp id here its number so we will give an 100 next is emp name so we will give a name here And we have to give in a single quote because it is a, a character where care next is a date here is the format for the a date we have to put in a single inverted comma then first of all we have to specify the date we will give zero one hyphen then we have to specify the month uh, mm we will give a toll then the year we will give 1995 right comma then we have to give m salary right its number okay and we have to give m place so it's a where care so we have to give in single quote it's so we will give a ERN right so we are going to uh, close this parenthesis so here we can see uh, the symbol uh, I mean the default insert method uh, into this table employees now we will run this uh, query here we can see the results one row is inserted we will verify this insertion we will give the query select star from table name its employees and we will execute this query and here we can see the result so we inserted one row here we can see that information now we are going to see uh, other method so here uh, suppose we want to insert a null then we will see how to insert that uh, null uh, for a particular column so here we can give this query insert into table name is employees then values so we will give emp id it's 101 suppose then we will give the name it's david right and suppose this emp dob uh, we are unaware so here we are going to give a null emp salary we will give and suppose this emp place is unaware and here we are going to give a null and we will execute this we will select this query and we will run here we can see one row inserted now we will verify our table employees we will execute this query and here we can see the result 
emp id emp name and here we can see emp dob it's null emp salary emp place it's null next we will see another way of inserting into the table so here uh, we are going to uh, specify the columns and we are going to give uh, the values for those columns here we can see that query insert into table name is employees and now we are going to specify the required columns here suppose we need these columns such as amp id then we record amp name uh, then we will give amp salary then close the parenthesis then we are going to give the values for these columns only right so we have to give amp id first we will give 102 comma next we have to give amp name we will give a name here Albert then we have to give emp salary then we have to close the parenthesis now we are going to run this query and here we can see a one row inserted we will verify our table Here we can see the values now. MB ID 102, MB name. Here we can see MB DOB. We did not specify this column. We given MB salary and we did not specify this MB place. It's null. Here we have seen uh, to insert the data into a table uh, in three ways. Now we are going to see the next method uh, that is uh, using script. Actually, this uh, method is not going to work with our uh, Express Edition. Uh, it will work on our uh, Server Edition. We will see that now. So, we will give the query here in our Express Edition itself. So, it's like this. Insert into table name is uh, employees. Then we are going to specify the columns. Emp ID. Emp name. then emp salary then here values so instead of values here we are going to give ampersand then we are going to give a name we will give emp id comma ampersand emp name comma ampersand emp salary and we will close it now we will execute this query but here we can see uh, we got an error not all variables bound what we will do we will uh, run this uh, query uh, on our server edition so we will copy this query and coming to our server edition Here is that. So username is code, then the password, login. So we will verify our table. Describe table name is employee. Here we can see that table. We will see the number of rows. Select star from employees no row selected right so we will paste our query here and we will execute it here is that query insert into employees and these are the columns we specified and here we uh, specified uh, with the ampersand and we will execute it and here we can see now it's prompted enter value for emp id so it's number so we will give a number we'll give 105 then we have to we have to click this continue and here we can see it's prompted for enter value for emp name so we will give a name here 
we will give Eric and here we have to give in a single inverted comma continue then enter value for embers salary right so we will give a salary here continue and here we can see a one row created now we will verify our table select star from employees and we will execute it and here we can see the result MP ID, MP name and the MP salary. Even we can do this without specifying the columns. Right, so here we will give insert into employee so we can remove these columns. Then we will give values. So we have to follow this order. First MP ID, okay, then MP name, okay. Then we have to give date of birth. So here we will give um, percent date of birth. Then MP salary, okay, and the last column is MP place. So we will give AMP percent place, comma AMP percent place. We will execute this query. So enter value for MP ID. We will give it 200. Continue. Enter value for MP name. We will give david continue then date of birth in single inverted comma we will give zero one then we have to give the month we will give a feb hyphen then the year we will give a one nine 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 right so continue then ember salary continue then uh, place we will give a TVC and here we can see one row created we will verify our table select star from table name is employees and here we can see the value emp ID emp name emp DOB emp salary and emp place it's working so in this video we have seen to insert into a table uh, in different ways so we can see here uh, those uh, different ways we have done now friends if you have any doubt uh, on this topic or regarding Oracle please comment below we will meet again in the next video. Thank you.